Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So since the release of Windows 11 back in 2021, Microsoft has been slowly migrating some of the control panel features and settings over to the new more modern settings app and settings in Windows 11. And this has been a slow process which I have been posting on um, basically since the release of Windows 11. And in regards to this, last month in March, I posted that Windows 11 24H2 will move more control panel features into settings, and I'll leave that video in the end screen. Now, my reason for mentioning that video is with Windows 11 24H2, which, by the way, is this year's annual feature update, as you may well know, which is rolling out around about September, October, it seems now that another feature is being moved from the legacy control panel into the settings, and this time it's fonts. And the possible reason why Microsoft is going to be moving fonts completely over into the new modern settings app is because currently you can access your fonts and manage your fonts in the legacy control panel. And if we head over to the settings and we just navigate quickly over to the personalization page and we head to fonts, you can do the same over in the settings. So basically this is a duplication so it kind of makes sense why they would make this available only in settings with the rollout of Windows 11 24H2. So with um, the release of this year's annual feature update, once that migration takes place, you won't be able to access the legacy font page through the control panel like you currently can. Or you won't be able to search for the legacy fonts like you currently can in the control panel that will all be migrated over to the settings so basically what that means is uh, with version 24h2 if you click on fonts it's just going to migrate you now directly over to the fonts in the settings uh, very similar to some other other components that have already been migrated over from the control panel if you click on those it takes you directly over to settings but um Although Microsoft is migrating a lot of the control panel features over to the, um, the settings app in Windows 11, and we could see more being migrated over with Windows 11 24H2. And although that is the case, I don't see the legacy control panel going anywhere anytime soon. So I still think this will be around in the OS for quite some time. But um, obviously, this is a good indication now that the slow migration of a lot of the com the control panel features components and settings is now taking place once again and it's going to be interesting to see when microsoft completely removes the legacy control panel and migrates everything over into the settings but nonetheless just keeping you posted in case you would be interested so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one